I'm a firm believer that you can learn English anytime, anywhere. You just need to know where to look. Now, my suggestion to you is memes. They are an amazing source of both great language and cultural references. So that if you want to understand the UK really properly, memes are the way to do it. This is from an Instagram meme page called the Archbishop of Banterbury. It's all about British culture and it is absolutely fantastic. Let's take this meme here. France is bare close in it. I could probably jump that. All right, there's some language in there that we might not know, right? Let's take the word bare. Bear is a modern London slang word for very or really. It's a kind of intensifier. Now this word is predominantly used by younger people. Now I personally don't use this word, but in London, if you're walking around, you're gonna hear this word. So bear means really or very. We've got in it. Now we've probably seen in it before. In it is an alternative to isn't it. So let's translate this. It says, France is really close, isn't it? I could probably jump that, right? So that's what it says. But they're using modern slang because it's the internet and, and people use whatever language they want on the internet. All right, that was our first one. Let's do another one. Okay, so if you have a look at the picture, it says Putin is a twat. Hmm, now the word twat, we might not know what that means. Well, it's an insult, kind of like idiot, right? So they're basically saying Putin is an idiot, but they're using some British slang, Putin is a twat. Now what I love about an Instagram page like this is it's showing you not just the language, right? But it's also showing you what the people are thinking, what the people are feeling, what they are saying. So fascinating. And guys, if you want to learn hundreds and hundreds of other British slang words and phrases, then you can check out my book, The A to Z of Really British English. It's a digital version. You can get it in the link below. Go check it out. You'll absolutely love it. So let's dive in deeper into the cultural aspect here. This meme right here, it's a combination of two of Britain's favorite foods. We have a cream egg, which is a seasonal chocolate egg that we have around Easter time. It's kind of a chocolate, it's Cadbury's chocolate with a fondant filling. It is the sweetest thing you will ever have in your life. Uh, it's, you should try one, you should try one. Now, they're also combining it with a scotch egg. Now, a scotch egg is a savory snack. It's a boiled egg wrapped in meat and breadcrumbs and then deep fried. It can be delicious if you get a good one, right? If you get a really bad supermarket one, it's awful. But anyway, this meme is telling us that someone, some absolute lunatic has decided to combine a cream egg and a scotch egg into one thing. Oh my goodness, that is madness. Now the linguistic part of it is interesting as well. Uh, they write state of this, state of this at the bottom and you know, the full phrase would be, look at the state of this. Like, look at how terrible this is. Look at how awful this is. That's basically what they're kind of saying. But because it's the internet and they're keeping it short, state of this. And then if you look at the emoji, yeah, that tells you everything you need to know about their opinion. <laughs> Question is, guys, would you try one of these cream egg scotch eggs? <sighs> All right, this one is magnificent. There's so much going on here. And again, we're looking at both language and culture. So first of all, we gotta say, this is a pun. Now what is a pun? A pun is a joke that uses the different meanings of words that sound the same to kind of find humor, right? So here we've got cheeky nan does. Cheeky nan does. Let's break all that down, shall we? All right, so cheeky. In a British informal meaning, that would be kind of, um, you do something or you consume something uh, that's enjoyable uh, spontaneously. So often we talk about like, oh, do you want a cheeky pint? Like it's not planned, you just make a suggestion to someone, oh, like, would you like to go for a, a, a pint, right? A, a drink a bit. Okay, now we've got Nan. Nan is a shortened form of grandmother, okay? So pe some people like to call their grandmothers Nan, right? It's, it's a common informal way to say grandmother. Okay, so we've got cheeky, we've got nan, and then we've got doze. Doze just means a short sleep. Okay, so cheeky nan doze. Now, nan doze, nan doze, two separate words, all right, but if you predicate it into one word, it sounds like a very popular chicken restaurant here in the UK, a peri-peri chicken restaurant called Nando's. So there we've got the pun. There's the sounds the same, but it's two different 
ideas, right? One is a chicken restaurant, one is your grandmother sleeping. All right, then add to that, we've got a phrase, cheeky Nando's, right? Often people say, hey, do you want a cheeky Nando's? It's become a bit of a, a phrase, a sort of internet phrase in itself. So what these guys are doing, and I think it's like a chicken, it's an advert for a chicken snack, is they are saying, like the old chicken restaurant, Nando's, has put your nan to sleep. So why not try our ones, they're more exciting. Whether you like the advert or not, what's interesting is the language involved and the concept of puns, which we love in Britain. Puns are, I don't know, they're, they're much loved, they're used, often to, yeah, to, to be funny, to, to comment on something. And in fact, the meme page that this is all from, the Archbishop of Banterbury, is in fact a pun in itself because there's someone called the Archbishop of Canterbury, who is uh, the head of the uh, Church of England. Canterbury uh, is a place. Canterbury, they've changed it from Canterbury to Banterbury. Banter is like joking, like joking between friends, like making jokes, teasing, all that kind of stuff. So the Archbishop of Banterbury, genius. All right, this one is a fun story. So this guy has ticked the I'm a terrorist box on the way to the United States and he wasn't allowed in, right? So it's a bit of a crazy story, like who ticks that box? The comment is, this has done me in with a laughing emoji. Now to do someone in is a phrasal verb and it can mean a couple of things. It can mean to kill someone, right? So uh, they did him in, they killed him. It can also in informal British English mean to injure yourself. So, ah, oh, I've done my back in, means I've injured my back. Now in this context, it's kind of saying that, especially with the laughing emoji, like, oh, that's done me in, like, that's not killed me, not injured me, but like, I'm like sore from laughing. I'm like, I'm hurting from laughing so much, right? Oh, that's really done me in. Oh, that did me in, like, that made me laugh so hard that maybe it hurts. That's all it really means here. And then in the comment from the Archbishop of Anterbury, they said, poor bloke. Now, bloke is an informal word for man, right? I love this one, look at this kid. So he says, my name is Connor, I like playing Lego, and eating mash. <laughs> All right, so mash is a short form of mashed potato, very popular food here in the United Kingdom. Uh, and then the comment at the top there is, is you know, ha 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 laughing, sound. Now sound, of course, can mean lots of different things, like, like sort of the noise that you hear, but it can also, in an informal sense, mean like good or nice, particularly used in the north of England. Like, so I, he's a sound guy, would be like, oh, he's a good guy or a nice guy. So sound often has like that positive meaning in the north of England. And then the comment below, fair enough, lad. Now, lad is an informal British word that we use for boy or young man, right? So they're just saying like, yeah, fair enough, kid or boy. Like, yeah, why not? Like Lego and mash. That's all the important things in life, right? Okay, here's our last one. It's all about a potential heat wave coming to the UK in April. Please, please, please. Okay, so let's look at the language. Tinnies with the lads. Now, tinny is a can of beer. This is actually an Australian English word that we've kind of adopted and, and they're using it here. So a tinny is a can of beer. And with the lads, well, the lads, if I'm gonna use that as a phrase, as like a group of friends. Um, usually male, not necessarily, but yeah, usually male. So this would translate as like, let's have some beers with our mates. If you're interested in language and the culture of the UK, then I really suggest following a few meme pages that focus on the UK and humor and all the kind of things that are funny about living here. It definitely helps you to understand not just the language, but also the people and like what's important to us and what we think of things and how kind of quirky and weird the UK can be. This particular Instagram page, the Archbishop of Banterbury, I personally think is fantastic, but there are lots of others that uh, you can find. If you want to improve your pronunciation, then check out this video here. And if you want to develop your vocabulary, click here, and I'll see you in the next video.